Yes, with, um, yeah, basically like not meditating right away. And I remember hearing this as a teaching of like, yeah, you don't, you know, we're so used to rushing into things and like, oh, I want, a, you know, I want to do this and we're just like can get kind of stressed out basically. So if we're interested in freeing ourselves of tension, stress, that um, we can actually just start by being aware that we're relatively comfortable, that you're choosing a position where I think of it as there's awareness of the body and um, positioning. Um, sometimes I do this like, like at night before I go to bed. It's like, huh, you know, am I ready to really rest or did I just kind of plop down, you know? And so you arrange yourself. Now there's going to be effort, most likely, like there's just some effort of, um, of energy. So we need just energy to be doing this work. Um, so you might close your eyes. I sometimes do this where I just close my eyes and I notice I'm breathing. And you take deeper breaths. The more you breathe, the deeper you breathe, the more you just start to feel into this. Like I'm, I'm here to do some work, to do formal practice. And it's like, I'm going to study this. What, how does this work? This, this posture, this position, a sense of being alert and upright. And even feel now your body, that your body is stopping or grounding, feeling of grounding or connecting. And if it feels okay to stop, and sometimes it doesn't feel right, like it's too abrupt. And the suggestion would to be like a little bit of rocking movement. Sometimes that can be really helpful or soothing to be here. But eventually there's just a coming to a still point, feeling the body. Or sometimes even if you are doing a rocking that calming and relaxing. But you could remind yourself, okay, I'm practicing just being here. So the grounding is, and when you're practicing being here, well, it's pretty wise to notice what's, what's pulling at your attention, what's on your mind because those are going to be your distractions. We want to know our distractions. Like, yeah, that's on my mind. Or maybe a physical, if there's some, like a pain, something in your body, like, oh yeah, that's present. So kind of know what, what's going on. And this is just the work of a yogi. It's like, I'm interested in what all is going on right now. And we give ourselves space. So space means that in a way we're, we're backing up. Like we're kind of backing up and looking more of witnessing what all is happening right now. Are there emotions present? What's your current attitude about practicing meditation?
Notice if taking deeper breaths helps to settle. So if you notice that there's some unresolved stuff, you know, what we call like our issues or problems, that's okay. You know, we're just going to put them down. Maybe get a fresh perspective. It's a wise thing to do. What's happening around you in your surroundings? Are there sounds? The space you're in, maybe the room that you're in is, it's now the sacred practice space. Might be a sense of gratitude for this space. A place we can be still, we can feel safe. And then even playing now with these two kind of energies of the uprightness, like a feeling of being alert, aware, aware of all of the sensations you're experiencing, the thoughts that are coming and going. The phenomena that arise and pass. Watching this, noticing it, and then the energy of being relaxed. I don't have to like or dislike any of this. I don't have to form an opinion. alert, we generate that alertness rather than starting to fall asleep or disinterested, that we're interested. Oh, this is what it feels like to put things down. This is what non-distraction starts to feel like. You bring awareness to your face, feel your skin, your skin soften, your forehead softening. You might say, I'm practicing softening my forehead. That's part of putting things down, 
peace. You're aware of your mouth. Like, is there tension? You can relax your mouth, your throat. Knowing, so you're alert, knowing, I'm practicing, relaxing my throat. Relaxed, alert. You might notice which of these you need to kind of generate and practice a bit more. If you're feeling like there's a lot of tension or if you're feeling restless, I find that's when just softening around the lips or the throat, and you might do that again and again. Even the little muscles around your eyes, calm. And you could be really clear, say to yourself, I'm practicing softening my throat. Or, because our imbalance is usually one or the other, if you're feeling sleepy and disinterested, that you could feel your breath and like imagine this energy coming in. You might even open your eyes. Or imagine this like deep kind of feeling of presence and brightness and uprightness. This is what it feels like to be here. So I'm just going to take a little time. So usually we just stop and 
receive some of the teachings. So in this 45 minute class, there's practice. So the first part is a guided, it's like teaching practice together to prepare. And then there's just a time of um, maybe choosing where Jenny and I choose something and share some of these, um, the teachings that like the Buddha taught. And then we practice again. Um, so you might have noticed as you get to know yourself. So Jenny and I like will share some of the teachings, but a lot of this is about really understanding your own nature and the nature of your mind and uh, um, how uh, we can, you might notice your tendencies your common distractions and it's good to know you know what kind of where we're um, kind of knocked off balance what takes us out of balance so um, these instructions around um, the energy that we're creating more of a balanced energy of being alert and yet relaxed. And this is something we can do all the time. So we do a formal practice here because it really helps in our everyday life to have a, the, a sense of um, really being alert and grounded and aware, like, um, and at the same time, uh, a feeling of just being open so whatever comes our way that we receive it. Um, so I'm going to talk just a little bit about these, um, what I just called as distractions. So we have kind of the energy balance, but it's so easy and we see this really clearly in meditation because we'll notice things like I can't meditate you know as a feeling is like I just I can't do this I or I feel like I'm I can meditate for about four seconds and then I just oh it's so easy to just start thinking about something So I really um, have appreciated the teachings around the power of distractions and that if our distractions are stronger, you know, than our, our mindfulness, then the distractions will win. And like we all know what that feels like. It's like an instant that the mind is somewhere else. Um, and really part of that we could say is because we've really trained ourselves to allow that, you know, to let our distractions just win. Um, when people start to meditate, then, um, a lot of times people will give up because our distractions are so strong that they win again and again and again. And it's, I mean, it kind of makes sense to just give up. Like, this is just so hard. I don't even know what's the fruit, you know, why do this? <laughs> um, well, imagine if we just lived a life then where we let our distractions win all the time then we would describe that if we're distracted like really if we were distracted all the time like we lived in a a fantasy in a um you know a stories that the mind makes up where we're not really here so that would be a description of being constantly distracted. 
and it just doesn't feel good. And that is what like the Buddha just called dukkha. And it, it's stressful, it hurts. It's, um, yeah, a deep feeling of um, life being lost in a way. So what is what was observed by the Buddha and others who practice is like, I, I would like to live my life. I would like to be present for my life. And I know that we all know what that feels like when we're in it, we're right in the moment. And so really that is at the, <laughs> At the crux of what we're practicing is to um, see that this can feel really good and lead to a very deep happiness when we're here, when we're right living our lives, when we're in it. So I think ultimately this is really about a deep happiness and joy that you know the opposite of that would be this stress of like losing our precious life through distraction but when we're in the midst of it in our practice when we're kind of wrestling with this it's really hard i sometimes imagine like this giant magnet that's just pulling i can just feel this pull Oh, it's so tempting. Um, there's a, the, the story of, um, you know, as the, the Buddha was sitting and meditating, that it was um, this um, being called Mara, who was like dangling all of these distractions around the Buddha. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this. And yeah, the Buddha was just like, I, I really love that story about just being in the present, undistracted, watching, like just feeling that pull, the magnet. Um, so we're here to learn, to see when that's happening, to actually feel it in your body of that, ah, uh, deep desire of, oh, I want to think about this story. It's just so good. Um, and what happens when we come back and again and again and again, you notice the distraction, the kind of dangling carrot, like I'm just going to Breathe, feel the, what it feels like to be right here. Now it's true in meditation when we're sitting here, there's not a lot happening. <clears throat> but can we appreciate this moment of just peace, of not having to figure anything out? Enjoy the feeling of being alive. Grounded. So when we're practicing then today, we're just going to maybe work a little bit with really understanding these distractions. What pulls our attention away and seeing it like, oh, I see that. I see it. And I'm going to watch it just pass by. Okay, so you could arrange yourself, maybe rearrange yourself in some way. I mean, it's true in this class, it's, you know, it's 45 minutes. So we do want to, you know, not feel um, uh, uncomfortable. So we stay comfortable. 
And then taking in the sound of the bell that begins our formal practice time. Maybe closing the eyes and and taking some deeper breaths if that helps you to just understand. This is a formal practice time. This is not an escape. But we do put things down, we gain some perspective, some space. And we understand that it is possible, just little increments, to let go of tension. Now, you could explore, again, the the feeling of your face relaxing and softening. But when we relax, like the face, this doesn't mean that we need to just, you know, like drop the whole head down, right? Or bring awareness inside of your head. The sense of space inside your skull or around your brain, around your eyes, eyeballs. This formal practice time of just being with things as they are. We understand it. There's things happening in our life. Some stuff might be going our way, other stuff not going our way, and that's just how it is right now. So if we see a distraction, like a a problem that keeps popping up, like we know what we're doing, I'm letting go of tension, and this decreased tension, this state of being relaxed, Ultimately, that will be helpful when we do approach our issues or deal with things that come our way. Staying open and grounded.
Now we could all play a little bit with just noticing. Like, uh, one thing I can be certain of is that we're all breathing. You don't need to change your breath at all, but when you're inhaling, you could say inhaling. And when you're exhaling, just say to yourself, exhaling. The breath is constantly helping, assisting to balance energy that the inhale, bringing in energy. And the exhale is the letting go, the relaxing. Noticing what distractions come in. And if we want to strengthen mindfulness, the mind full, we're fully aware. What are you sensing right now? What do you hear? What is the skin feeling? What does the breath feel like as it's moving? What thoughts are coming and going? All sorts of arising and passing. even your know, moods or your attitude. I like meditation. I don't like meditation. This pure awareness, aware of kind of pure aliveness. Ah, this is what it feels like to be alive, aware. You might imagine the whole body settling. There's this beautiful benefit of being still. Just like when you have muddy water that when it's still that 
the sediment settles and there's a clarity. So it can be good at the end of practice <clears throat> just to note that there are things that maybe were that I taught that stuck out for you um, really was something maybe you needed to hear or that helped you. And there could be even a majority of what I was saying that just didn't didn't resonate and this is just how it works is there's a lot of stuff that just you can just let that go and we might take like a a few gems you know that stood out like oh that that really helped and you know gradually we weave together you know this this um the teachings in a way that it really speaks to us and um we learn how to be um, the cause for our own peace so thank you so much everyone for